what modern medicine does not want you to know. divine ones this is minister ashley i'm out here in nature you may hear my children in the background because we're out here enjoying the sun soaking up the sunlight soaking up this energy from mother earth i'm pretty much just going off off the top of my head with this um, with this message the pharmaceutical companies and the that everyone is under a spell everyone is under a spell so before modern medicine that a individual would go to a what they would call like a, either a witch doctor or a medicine person a medicine woman a medicine man a shaman um they have many names for these types of individuals and it was a a, a practice of natural holistic healing now all modern medicine has its roots in herbs and spices However, what they do, they take these herbs and spices and they put it through a process that that manipulates the original properties and intentions. So each herb and spice corresponds with a with a planet, with a modality, an energy from that planet. So what they do, they take these herbs, these spices, and they take it through these processes during certain times of lunar phases, different conjunctions, etc. So the word pharmacy comes from pharmakia or pharmacia that is witchcraft. So you go to the doctor, also would be the witch doctor because the so in these different schools, like back in the day, they will have mystery schools and those mystery schools, they will learn how to heal people. They will learn how, they will learn about astrology, astronomy. They will learn about practices, herbs, oils, um, conjure, all these different things, seals, residuals, etc. So take it to the modern day time. They take out the, they make it seem like they take out the spirituality out of medicine, but what they do, they take all of the, um, the healing modalities out of the medicine and they put in suppressants and a prescription, a script. They're writing the script on that paper. Now they do it digitally, digitally, but when you look on their papers, they have like the little bowl and pistol. That's the symbol, that's the sigil, that's the seal of pharmacia, pharmacia, which is witchcraft. So when they write these scripts, they're really writing and prescribing things over you. They're invoking certain angels, AKA angles, which are different um, transits, different energies associated with astrology. And so with these different scripts and sigils and seals, they're putting spells on people and they don't even realize it. And they're, they're not spells to heal people. They're spells to bandage or make it uh, seem like a, a form of illusion, make it seem like a person may feel better. They're really damaging other parts of their bodies. Diseases are nothing but imbalances within the body. Something is in disalignment. Some, something is not at ease within the body. Just years ago, the, the industry of marijuana, of um, uh, plant medicine, different forms of plant medicine, what they did, what they did, they would incarcerate people for giving people these different doses of medicine and um, holistic healing, pretty much. Now, what is going on? They have CBD products and now that they can make money off of it they have demonized other people that were doing it the holistic way that were helping other people in the many ways of how they were helping them and now they learned a way of how to capitalize off of that they could put their seal their seal their magic um, of approval quote unquote on these different products on these different holistic modalities and take the holistic aspect out of it with the food that we have been served like first of all the ground has been robbed a lot the dirt the soil has been robbed of a lot of its natural minerals to help heal the body and now we have shoes that are artificial shoes that are made of rubber they stop the electromagnetic energy that pulsates throughout the earth that syncs with us with our hearts with our minds with electricity in our body our nervous system and they give us installation which is rubber and that's blocking that energy that's another way of how to heal they try to block out the sun and the sun what does the sun do it gives us vitamin d and with that vitamin d it helps regulate different systems within our body so when we eat foods that have been genetically modified that it strips our bodies 
of the, the things that can naturally heal our bodies. Everything that we need to heal and to be holistic, to be whole within ourselves already exists within us and all around us. But you know that these companies do not have your best interests at heart. They do not. If you do your research, if you do your studying and not keeping up with the latest trends, if you're a trendsetter, if you're a spiritual trendsetter, you, I mean, you can be trendy, you know, um, and, and be cute or whatever. But however, like if it's robbing us of our, our internal balance and robbing us of our health and helping other people to be healthy, we have to question what are our personal motives, especially as being spiritual leaders or spiritual influencers. Another thing like now you have like um, with these crystal, like crystals and candles, now you have these major manufacturers and companies that have started to create their own and they are imitations of like the real crystals, of the real minerals they can come into that space and make a profit off of it they will they will rob the profits those that are really in tune to make a profit off of that that study off of that research that they that those people have put into it those that are really called according to that purpose so just like the the trends of you if you follow history how something at first it was rejected or either outlawed and then it became something that was popular it could not be suppressed that's the same thing that's going on with the phar pharmaceutical and the medical industry that a lot of people from the pandemic had to leave or, or they chose to leave out of that profession because they did not agree with it or either they were felt called to go the other way and now you will see that a lot of it's going to be even more people that are going to exit out of that system and they're going to go to holistic healing or they're going to go after whatever calling they may have been called to do the holistic industry is going to boom and you're going to have once again some false entities or false profits for falsity that will come into that industry into that space and that will be the the big giants when you start to see a lot of a lot more a lot more of holistic stuff being sold and promoted that you have to definitely make sure you do your research because they will take something that is pure and pervert it that industry it's not necessarily dying off it's changing this gives way to a lot more of gives way to more of the small areas that will that will pop up like these small communities eco communities that will holistic communities and they will be in search of healers and those healers will they will be employed they will have ways of how to produce some form of an income and it may not necessarily be just money or that type of currency it may be in just house I mean board food um, the medicines and herbs and stuff that they need. I mean, it can come in the form of community. It can come in many different ways. So people are, are definitely going to not need as much money as before. Like the idea of money is starting to, to fall to the wayside for those that are on a certain frequency. Now, it doesn't mean you won't be abundant. You, you're going to live an abundant life. But breaking out of these systems, money is a, is a system that has been set up and it's just a it's a promissory note now currency is a esoteric principle and tapping into the currency the frequency of the earth and when you get on on board with that you always be well taken care of you always be abundant don't fall victim to these false dying systems